Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pragmatic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, we're going to go over an example of a post-earnings announcement drift analysis. And before we dive into the numbers, let's go over really quickly what a post-earnings announcement drift is. So when a a usually a company reports earnings four times a year, once a quarter, and when they report earnings, you'll see a big repricing in the stock based on what the management says and what the um what the financials say and it could go up a lot it could go down a lot maybe not even move a lot but there's a usually a big repricing right after it announces earnings now between earnings after that day there's still a lot of time until the next earnings and you'll see that the stock will not just sit there at one price but it will tend to drift it could drift higher or it could drift lower it could remain remain relatively unchanged but that drift is kind of the anticipation or market's expectations going into the next earnings. And what we're trying to gauge here is how much optimism or pessimism is being built into that stock. And this might help us, uh, that information might help us uh, understand what are the potential moves or risks going into an earnings. So let's take a look at an example. And I just brought up uh, Twitter really quickly, and we're going to look at a couple of their last earnings announcements what the stock did and what was the drift going into the earnings and what what that was what could that tell us so up here these are a couple different reference points really quickly just to let us know um historically what twitter tended to do so right now we're looking at a drift of 24.3 percent so it's up 24.3 percent since it last reported earnings on average the stock moves up 10.1% between earnings. And a standard deviation move is up or down 14.2%. So in either direction of 14.2%. And what this is telling us is once it gets beyond a standard deviation move, there's more optimism being built into the upside if it's moving up above that. And more down, if it goes below that, there is more pessimism than usual being built into that stock heading into earnings. So let's take a look historically how that looks. So down here, this is Twitter. These are their historical earnings, the dates they announce. And I'm going to go here first to look at the drift. So these are the drift between earnings um, uh, for each of these quarters. Here are the price reactions. So let's take a look at this last one. There is a 36.4% drift to the upside between earnings in Twitter. In other words, after reporting the previous earnings, the stock was up 4.1%. Following that day, it added another 36.4% uh, between, between earnings. Now that, let's see how that compares. That, compa that, that compares to a 14.2 standard deviation, so that's more than two standard deviations uh, to the upside between earnings. So no, there's a lot of optimism being built in already. And the idea is if they report good earnings, then potentially the upside can be muted because it's already built in. But the downside could be pretty severe if they're wrong. Then there's a lot of air. There's a big air bubble potentially to give back because look at that 36.4% up. So let's take a look historically what happened. This, here we go. It was up 36.4%. It reported earnings. That stock was down 21.1%. So obviously whatever the earnings was, whatever the management said, the market wasn't too happy. And look at the magnitude of the move to the downside in one day was pretty severe. You could see down here, tw down 21.1% that day let's compare that to the previous earnings now the previous earnings again the stock was up 28.8 percent drift between earnings that again is two standard deviation move a lot of optimism being built in there on this earnings the stock was up so whatever they said the whatever the earnings was whatever the management said the market looked at it positively but look how much muted the upside move was 
only 4.1%, right? So we already had a big, big anticipation being built in, into it ahead of earnings. And to the upside, it was much more muted, 4.1%. So when you're looking at your risk reward ratios, you know, it's something to consider, right? Potential upside versus potential downside, because now you get a sense of how much is being built in heading into earnings. So let's let's keep going down the line. Here we see that this earnings, again, it was already down 19.1%. So more than one standard deviation. It did report, uh, it did report the market didn't like it. The stock was down 7.8%. So it did fall, but you could see that this drop, 7.8%, is much more muted than some of these other big moves like 20 percent you know we're seeing 20 percent moves over here 15 percent moves uh so a bunch of bunch of 20 percent and 15 percent moves um let's go to this biggest one over here again here between the drifts twitter was up 44 percent so that's huge you know more way more than two standard deviation move stock reported earnings and they and as you can see here, they even they they beat, right? They didn't miss, but it wasn't enough. And you could see that it still lost 20% on that day. So to that downside, so much was built up that that downside now is more severe. Let's look at the next one. Look, it was the other way around. The drift was down 19%. So that's more than one standard deviation move to the ups to the downside. So when they did report earnings and beat, look, that pop was up 15%, right? 15%. So that magnitude was much higher than, you know, this 4% because already pessimism was, was being built in there. So when they reported what the market perceived as positive news, you could see that to that upside, it was, mu it was, it was a much bigger gain of 15.55%. Um, uh, to, to because because that because going heading into earnings there was already a lot of pessimism uh, built into that stock. So that's really quickly uh, an analysis of taking a post earnings drift, seeing what do we think is built in there, how much based on what it typically moves, and this gives us uh, maybe a insight into potentially. How much can we go up further or how much can we go down um, since so much might be built into one side or the other. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.